Hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, I just wanted to give the update on the Amber Alert that I posted overnight. And they have a little more details for us now so that we can get a better idea of what's happening. And so ultimately, the McKinney Police Department put out an Amber Alert stating that they're asking for the public's help in finding two young girls who were abducted last night. And the Amber Alert is issued for nine-year-old Jessica Burns and her sister, that is six-year-old Jennifer Burns. And they had been having a supervised visit with their father, along with CPS, who had temporary custody of the girls. Burns is driving a black SUV with a scratch on the front, silver door handles, and black interior. The detectives are currently working with the FBI to locate the girls. Anyone with information is asked to call 911. And I'm going to show you what the police department had to say. They did a, a little press conference, very short little press conference. And so let me take this down for you. And I'll play the video. We are asking for the public's help this morning in finding two little girls who were abducted in our city last night. Our main goal right now is to find these little girls. To that end, we do have an Amber Alert in effect for nine-year-old Jessica Burns and her sister, six-year-old Jennifer. They are both white, and here are the descriptions. Jessica is 4'10". She weighs 90 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. Jennifer is four feet tall. She weighs 60 pounds. We do have a bit of a more description on her on what she was wearing. She also has blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing purple framed glasses, a light blue shirt with sparkle designs and blue jeans. They are suspected of being taken by their paternal grandmother. She is 60 year old Jamie Burns. She was last seen wearing dark framed glasses, a red long sleeve shirt with black sleeves and blue jeans. These girls were last seen just before six o'clock last night at a restaurant near Central and Virginia, excuse me, where they were having a supervised visit with CPS and their father. The uh, CPS has temporary custody of these little girls. Burns was last seen driving off in a black SUV. We have very limited information at this time. We know there was a scratch on the front of this SUV. It has silver door handles and a black interior. Our detectives right now are working with the FBI. They're working with DPS as well to locate Jennifer and Jessica. And right now, our main goal is to get those girls back safely. We do know that the CPS worker called 911 last night. We also know that the dad was at the restaurant when our officers arrived. He was taken into custody. He is now in the Collin County Sheriff's uh, custody jail. He's in jail now. His name is Justin Burns. His date of birth is 115 of 89. We do believe he was involved in this. He was arrested and taken into custody on two felony counts of kidnapping. And the grandmother does have a criminal history. That's why it is imperative at this time that we locate Jennifer and Jessica and get them back safely. We ask that anyone that has any information at all or spots the children or the grandmother or the vehicle to call 911. Whatever it is that you know or you may have seen, please call the Kenny Police Department so we can locate Jennifer and Jessica at this time. We are not taking questions because literally this is an ongoing investigation. It's very fluid right now, and we need to get these girls home. When we do have more information, we will get that to you as quickly as possible. Right now, we are so thankful for our media partnership and all the eyes on the ground across Dallas-Fort Worth and really many states surrounding us looking for these two children. Thank you so much, and please, let's get these little girls home. Okay, so that was the information, a little bit more there for us than we were given initially. And I know that there's a strong opinion from some people about whether uh, it should be called an Amber Alert when it's to do with family abduction. And they think that it's different than a stranger. And, you know, to some extent, it can be. But there's plenty of cases that I have covered where the parent has ultimately killed a child or relative, right? Since this is a grandmother that has them right now. Um, or, I mean, you, you got the one that ended a, a shootout and the, the 
teenage girl got out of the vehicle and a police officer, uh, they, they told her to stop. She was running to get away from the dad. Anyway, they, they shot the, they shot the teenager up. Um, it was really horrific. And so it doesn't make it not dangerous just because it is a relative that has them. Uh, the bottom line is there is a reason that things are in place with the system and there's some reason that there was a supervised CPS visit and uh, it was planned, right? It seems as though it was planned. I don't know exactly how they executed it, but he was visiting the children at a restaurant with the CPS and somehow, some way, maybe they had to go to the bathroom, took him to the bathroom and grandmother was inside waiting and walked out with him. I don't have no idea how they did it. I don't know. But uh, ultimately he's been arrested now with the, the two kidnapping charges and they're looking for the grandmother because she does have a criminal record. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Could be very minimal, not much of a big deal, not too much. We don't know. We don't know. And so we need to just take these things seriously and uh, really make it priority that when there's an Amber Alert, just do, just help get the children back to safety or back to wherever they, they are, they're supposed to be. And, um, you know, and for those that have made statements that they're going to turn their head and look the other way if they were to see them in public and they would not call 911, you know, I, this isn't really the video for them. Um, but I, I do hope that there are some of you that are going to be responsible and um, they care about the best well-being for the children. And uh, if you know any information, if you end up seeing them, call 911 right away. Uh, I'll update you if um, they get found. I will update everywhere that I've posted it. I have it on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, my community well. And uh, I'll update this um, as well. But um, if they come out with a new press conference, I'll be sure to cover that for you as well. But I hope that you all have a good day. Thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you very soon.